Welcome back to Dunoon Grammar School. Let's find out what's been happening this week. Hi Mr Mitchell, thank you so much for joining us. What's been your highlight of this week? My highlight this week has been so many, seeing so many of our pupils taking part in the, the Cowell Highland Gathering. Um, which was a fantastic event. It was, um, seemed extremely busy this year, which was, which was great to see. But there were a number of successes this year. Lisa McGilvery came second in the Under-16 um, Premier Championships, or Dell Championships. Lauren Kennedy um, was the overall winner in the Under-14 Pre-Premier Championships, or Dell Championships here as well. And Cora McLeod um, came overall third um, in the Under-12 Premier Championships. So great success for our dancers. There was also success for our pipers with Thomas Young gaining a first and second um, and winning overall um, in the local competition and Amy Stoddart gaining a third in our medley um, as well. So great success for all our uh, competitors. I also just want to mention our pipe band um, who performed extremely well um, and we had a number of new people playing in the pipe band which was great to see and in fact we had a primary six from Sandbank taking part in his first competition. So great to see that there's, uh, the pipe band's got a, a great future ahead of them. What else has been going on this week? Well, on Monday, um, staff were involved in a house time collegiate session where they went through the, the house time programme and the tracking interviews that take place throughout the, the session. Um, on Wednesday, we had our school photographs taken, so our S1, S3, S4, S5 and S6 pupils either had a group photo or an individual photograph, and you can access um, those photographs on the Tempest website, or um, all pupils have been given an order form home through house time. Um, we have, have had some feedback regarding S2 and we plan to take an S2 group photograph um, around the October holidays and we'll keep parents up to date um, with that information. At house time this week, um, the house charities were voted on and house council elections took place. Um, last week the house classes had the opportunity to take part in the vision statement consultation um, and I'm collating that information just now and that information will be shared with pupils through house time but I want to thank them all for, for giving us some really interesting comments. We issued out our clubs, there's a number of clubs now starting at lunchtime and after school so the club programme's on the website and also on our Facebook page so if you want to access it there you can, if you need a hard copy please come into the school office and we'll give you a copy but we encourage particularly our new S1 pupils to take part in as many clubs as possible. I also want to thank the Aston Jones charity who donated £500 to the school to help fund our breakfast club so that's a real, real big bonus for us and I just want to say a massive thank you to them. We issued our How to Pass letters for our S4 to S6 pupils that are sitting National 5 and higher examinations. Um, I'd encourage as many parents to attend these sessions as possible because it will help you support your child to pass their examinations next May. So please return the, the forum um, as quickly as you can. We also launched Show My Homework. And again, please, I ask all parents to download um, that app or on the computer just to ensure that you're keeping up to date with which what homework has been issued to your sons and daughters. Um, four of our new S1 pupils, Charlie Murchison, um, Lewis Oxland, Stephanie Laidlaw and Ailey Mitchell gave a presentation to our Dunoon Primary uh, seven visitors just about life in Dunoon Grammar School and to help them um, just ease in and settle their nerves if they had any um, as they, they, they spend the next six or seven weeks with us. What have you got in store for us next week? Well, on Monday there is a collegiate session which will focus in on self-evaluation and departments will be working um, in their own departments looking at uh, um, the, the returns for um, the self-evaluation uh, procedures that we have. Um, on Friday, our learning centre pupils will be going through to uh, Greenock um, as part of the, one of their trips and they'll be attending the waterfront um, and other venues. I'll be holding my weekly drop-in on Wednesday between 4 and 5. There's no appointment required. Parents can come in um, at any time and just pop along to my office um, and I'll see you. So again, no appointment required there. And Miss Stewart, the year head for S1 to S3, will also be holding a drop-in um, on uh, Thursday between 5 and 7 um, and that's open to S1 to S3 parents. Again, no um, appointment is required. The senior leadership team will be carrying out a number of observations next week um, in classes um, and we'll keep you up to date on what we're observing in there through the vlog um, and a number of our staff have started their learning gang observations and observing each other um, and sharing the good practice that's going on in the school because there's a huge amount of it. 
Um, so that's really what's happening next week. I would like to apologise about my tie. I've been teaching technical um, period one, so my tie has been tucked in to, to help with the health and safety aspect of things in there. Um, so that's it back out, and I will um, adhere to the school uniform policy when I go out into the forum. So apologies, girls. Thank you so much for joining us today, and have a great weekend. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.